gonna talk about summer crocker. I got him. Oh, this is gonna be a good fish. Big time fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Well, how are we doing, folks? Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Three Pound Fishing. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor, subscribe. I try to get two videos out every single week representing Three Pound Fishing, all the great sponsors that we have helping Three Pound Fishing. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about summer crop. Some of the things that we do at Three Pound Fishing to help increase our bite. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna catch some fish. I'm gonna share those secrets, so some of the things that I do. I'm also gonna put some active captain on this video, so look forward to that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get some big fish in the boat. And I'll tell you what, we've got a we've got a storm come brewing right here. Check it out. Check it out. Now for all those believers, let's let's hear it. Well, I want to see a comment tomorrow. Do you believe more in the moon phase, the lunar calendar, or barometric pressure? So we've got a storm coming. This should be great fishing if you believe in barometric pressure. But are you more favored towards the lunar calendar? Let me know, comment below. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. It's a beautiful evening, summer crappie, live scope. We're gonna talk about strategies all in this one episode. Let's put some fish in the boat. That's right, folks. A lot going on in this episode, let me tell you. Big fish gonna go in the boat. Thanks for joining me. Check out the Ozark Rods. The three pound fishing elite series are back in stock so at ozarkrods.com. We're asking questions about the guide trips. Folks, guide trips are going awesome. We are jacked. Um, I still have a lot of availability. That is the most consistent bite on my home lake. So check it out, threepoundfishing.com, or you can even call me at 618-694-5162 to book a guide trip. There's the drop. If we have any aggressive fish going on. Oh, here we go. He touched it. Why didn't you take it? Fish. Did you guys see that? They don't always take the fish, folks. That's just a fact of life. And that's our, our job is to kind of identify what it is they really need. Here we go again. Is he gonna come in on it? Come on now. And we're gonna do it one more time. And if that this doesn't work, then we will change what the bait is so strategy number one is let's just change baits hey it sounds easy but um, I'm not getting the reaction I want oh look at this guy he's I got him <laughs> there it is this is a good fish too all right so that's the start and a great active captain that's what we like to share and uh and we talked about our number one, our first strategy, which is just plain and simple, change the baits. Bam, that's a good fish, folks. Look at that guy. We're just gonna keep him for pictures and then we will let him go. Mm, you gotta love it, folks. So I am using a lot more hair jigs. And so let's just make that number two summer strategy. Um, you need to add hair jigs to your your toolbox. Um, I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be making and selling hair jigs, but I do on my website and I believe in them. I believe in hair jigs all the way around. I think that the, the way that that water is bouncing off that jig makes a huge difference. And I've noticed some days they won't touch a plastic and but boy, will they touch a hair jig. And you know, of course I had, could have a lot to do with profile. And I think I, I'm a big believer in profile. I also believe in water displacement and water on a hair jig is absorbed and doesn't give off the same vibrations that you would get from a plastic. So that's tip number two. We're just full of tips on this episode. Let's put another fish in the boat. Now I don't stay on piles. People ask me how long I stay on piles. And I really, I, I probably move quicker than your typical person reading what the fish are doing and we can spend time here or we can go to another pile and since we have so many piles to go to on this lake uh, I say we take advantage of it. Oh this is gonna be a good fish. Oh that's a pig. That is a pig. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Big time fish. Bam! That's a 14 inch folks. That is a hog. 
That was a big dog right there, and he ain't happy. Man, that's a good start to a day. Hey, if you haven't checked out Ozark Rods, check them out at ozarkrod.com. The three pound fishing elite series rods are back in stock. They're flying off the shelves. I'm hoping they're not sold out by the time you see this video, but uh, exciting to have the rods back. That's been a pain. And uh, right now I'm sporting the 12 footer, but I like the 13 footer and I certainly love the 10 footer. And everybody knows that gets in this boat on three pound fishing, that 10 footer, we light up the 10 footers and everybody loves them when they walk away. So check them out. Just the right amount of feel and, and stiffness. We ain't, got, ain't giving you no board. You're gonna feel the fish and I think that's important. But at the same time, it's got enough backbone that you're gonna sink that hook right into the roof of that fish's mouth. That storm is beating down on us. We only got a little bit left before that storm gets to us. Let's put some more fish in the boat, shall we? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, man, you gotta love it. Solid eater. Just vertical jigging basically pitching it about 14 foot down. He ate the Chanel off that bait. Good, solid fish. All right, so another strategy, change the profile. So even though what we're, what you're, what we're using right now is working, we are gonna change to a curly a, uh, tickle fry and uh, try something different. The reason I think changing profile is a big deal. I think it's almost like the first time you drop on anything. They haven't seen it, they don't know about it. They're taken by surprise, and that's the whole idea. So, change to the profile is another great strategy during these summer months. All right, so what I like to do is swim this bait over the pile. So I will literally cast it. And I'm only casting it, you know, it looks like 20, 25 feet. And you're gonna start seeing this bait come into the picture. And I kind of missed it to the left, so I'm gonna redo that. All right, now this guy's gonna be good. He's coming in. There he is, he's dropping in. See him coming in, folks, right, right there. Now look, I'm gonna, just gonna rake it across the, the pile. Look at this guy, he's interested down below, I see it. There he goes, he just fired on it, and we just got a fish. First cast into this, and this is a good fish. These fish are on fire, man. Action. Changing the action is another strategy. So we just changed the profile, we're changing the action. And that is a, a solid fish. I ain't messing around. We still got active captain going. Let's see if we can get one more off this pile. And then we'll let it rest. We got a guy trip tomorrow. Now you can get all your electronics at PTG Outdoors down there in Grenada, Mississippi. Ron Church and that family fabulous family is going to take care of you and i'm going to cast out to this again i use the 8612 although i like it. Ooh, we're going to get really wobbly here there we are i'm falling in perfect you can actually still see it and i just got taken again look at that oh my god he's coming up there he is right there no. folks this don't get no easier mixing it up summer crappie it don't get any better <laughs> let me tell you check that thing. that is a solid eating. So my big push right now is with braid. And I really do believe braid is the future for crappie fishing. I can flip this out there so far. I can set the hook so fast. The feel, the tactile feel of braid is beyond anything else. It's funny because I look back, I mean, everybody's willing to can change. You know, if you were to look back at my videos in the past, you would see that I was not for braid. I was for fluorocarbon, I was for mono, I was for green and expensive. But boy, it's funny how you change through the process of crappie fishing. And I can tell you, if you fish for crappie for a long time and you try a good quality braid, this is K9 right here, I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's amazing the difference it makes. So check out K9 Fishing, they're awesome. This is really good braid. It's something that I have been using a lot lately. All my reels have on it right now. So, all right, so we're coming up to another pile. Strategy on the summer bite episode. Hey, thanks again, folks, for watching Three Pound Fishing. Hope you use those strategies to your advantage this summer. We got some good fish today. Great fish. Use those strategies. Check them out. Try them. I know they're simple, but you know it's amazing how many times people don't use those strategies to catch more fish, especially during the summer. We've got a storm beating down on us. It's time for Three Pound Fishing to go to the house. Get ready for a guide trip tomorrow. Put more big fish in the boat. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe.
Have a great summer. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.